Good morning. It is March 4th, and it's Adrian's day off. He's getting out of the shower. I did a cup of the day with the new blue one. These are color changing. My mother also gave us 20 bucks because we have a lot that we want to do today, so we're going to put that for some of our food. Also, um, I have a whole entire bag of stuff to buy below right here for the podcast. And I'm refilling my little snack bag that I have for my purse. Um, I've been commenting on stuff on people's TikToks, and let me just say, people on TikTok are fucking brutal. Um, I kind of can't even stand on going on TikTok anymore half the time and even commenting on a video, because everybody just has to be a fucking asshole. But, these Skittles and Starburst things that I got for uh, Easter, those are actually pretty fucking good. And then I still have, oh, do I still have... Aww. I've been craving these a lot too, fruit roll ups. I thought that they were the mini size, but I guess it was just the mini box. Oh, I got one left of those. My mother and I are planning to go down to the bar that's down from our house tomorrow morning. And Ashley and my aunt and my mother are headed to Piper Rock Hill right now. Woohoo! Um, pink sweatsuit. I'm obviously going to change my shoes as soon as we walk out on them, but I don't want to wear boots today because it's probably going to be muddy still if I want to wear my shoes, but my shoes need to be cleaned. So I guess we'll just figure that one out. But, um, yeah, I'm sitting here and I'm watching some TikToks for right now until he gets out of the shower until we leave. Oh, and these Smoke and Mirrors Botanical Lip Oil. This one's a watermelon. These are really, really, really nice. They don't last as long as normal, like, chapsticks. Oh, I almost just put it into the top that has the cat part on it. But they're still really decent. And they smell good, so it's worth it. And I can't wait for Duncan and then Boba later today, and possibly nachos as well too with the Boba because I've been so massively craving nachos. We, I got salad from Domino's last night and Adrian got uh, Moe's like normal. So we are at the same Duncan that we were at the other day on Adrian's day off and let me just say, it looks exactly the same. It's raining, although the sun's trying to peek out a tad bit. I don't know if the sun's actually going to peek out or not. My microphone is sideways. Jesus Lord. Um, getting hot chocolate, which apparently during pregnancy you have to have a moderation. Um, I'm not sure if it's caffeinated or not because I literally like it. Google doesn't give me any of that information. Plus the fact that my doctors told me not to Google so much stuff because most of the time it's wrong. So I'm not too sure. Um, I'm feeling a little nauseated right now, but I took my nauseation medication and my prenatal this morning, so I should be doing well soon. We're gonna go for a little ride after we get bagel. I don't know if he's getting a bagel or not, he did last time, so. Bagels and hot chocolate, he gets his coffee. I have my other drink with me right here. These cups are really, really small, I'm not gonna lie, but they're cute and I can definitely understand with the fact of traveling it's really annoying having a big ass cup but at the same time these aren't twist on these are like pop off top cups so you kind of got to be really careful with them but yeah I'm bloating a lot this morning I can barely lean forward right now because of a little bit of nausea but you know it's Gucci um we have no clue what we're doing today other than the fact of for lunch we're, we just we wanted to go for a walk so it depends on if that happens or not but um, I think for lunch I want to get nachos along with the boba. We're going to go to a different place for boba this time even though those fucking clips didn't even end up. Now I'm going to make it up in, into a freaking vlog, but oh well at this point. I have one of my new hair clips in my hair, the same one that I've been wearing the past few days. Just because those smaller ones I didn't realize how annoying that they were going to be. Those, those ones are for more like pulling your bangs back or something like that. Um... But yeah, it's going to be a decently fun-filled day. We're probably going to end up doing the same thing that we did last time. If we can get to the uh, podcast, because we brought the bag with us of all the stuff. So we're going to try and get to the podcast. 
Um, and then after that, if it's probably like 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we're probably going to end up going and um, taking that like last time. Oh, she hot! Say hi. Hello? Yellow? Orange and green? <laughs> Well, it's the green month anyways. Oh my god, it's the green month. And you want to know something? I didn't even think about it. 420. Hey, look, there's a green Skittles. Oh, that's where it went last night. Uh, 420 is not even in the fucking green month. Be free Skittles. Uh, ah! He tried to throw it out the window and I it went. Failed. Thing. That was Don't funny. look at me. <laughs> we just did our whole entire podcast and ate a lot of gummies and uh, almost broke our draw with some shit, but you know, it's fine. Yeah, just go to the other. Just go to her other, her other page for that. My father got me these to try. We're gonna try them now because we've been procrast procrastinating too key. much. So. No, I procrastinated too much. It just gotta get get. Might as well do it while we were here finishing up. I don't know if these have like a resealable thing. Mm -mm. Oh, it's okay. So, that's okay, I can snack on jerky all day. The mild. Do you want one of this piece or one of your own? Yeah, that one? Uh, okay. Whoop. That's kind of weird. It's not as saturated as obviously the other pieces that I normally eat. Do all of them say the same thing? Okay. Zero gram sugar, preserving, low sodium, no preservatives. Minimally processed, no artificial ingredients. Smoke plate wrapping. <laughs> okay. Not that bad. I was just trying to finish. Yeah, it was good. Here you go. So, she doesn't have a resealable thing, but... Oh well. It just means we won't get home, we just zip tie it. Or not zip tie, wow. Zip, get a Ziploc bag for it. <laughs> That's where your brain was going? Yep, zip tie it. We I got totally, the hot. I, told, I see hot garlic and garlic, and I'm like, yes. Oh. Epic fail. Aw, oh, they really messed you like that, didn't they? You know what? We're just gonna fuck up the bag as it is because it okay, pissed fine. me off. Yep, that's fine. You can smell it. You can taste it. I need the window open. <laughs> Shut up, huh? I'm not even gonna keep eating that. I'll have it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh. <gasps> I got the garlic. Garlic spread all over the bag, though. Hmm? You can see the garlic spread all over the bag, though. Mm-hmm. It's not that hot. Honestly. Chew it and I'll swallow it, but I don't think I like it. Yeah, I don't like the garlic one. You like it? I love garlic. You can have it. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, I already knew. You like it? Cool. Hot garlic. You like it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again, it wasn't that hot. Decent piece in here. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I don't like hot nor like garlic. Well, I mean, I, I like garlic, but not on stuff like that. My mouth is on fire. Good thing we have other gummies. Oh, yeah, and I also have this thing. fan of the hot ones or the garlic ones so um Hooray. that main one I like and that's it okay oh, okay my mouth is on fire we are at Cumbies because Adrian's inside getting me nachos he's going to the bathroom getting me nachos and getting himself pizza and I'm sitting here beating a yellow gym <sighs> And then we're probably gonna go home and take a. Oh, I like her hair, her outfit. We're probably gonna go home and possibly take a nap because those have been happening recently. Or we're gonna keep ourselves up a little bit, probably clean up the room a little bit, and then go to Daddy's Mills for dinner tonight because I mentioned it. It just seemed fun. Oh yeah, we got we went to Sweet Luna's and got chocolate tea wood. Strawberry bobas. Which tastes like chocolate covered strawberries and it's so good. I'm trying so hard to beat this gym. Oh yeah, hold the gummies on the podcast. We're actually pretty decent. Except for the hot dog one. Go off to just see that. Holy oh, Jesus. I still have all of the tape remnants on my arms from the hospital stays and all that shit. Yay. And I'm pretty proud of myself. I haven't peed in like 3.8 hours. It's not that good, but still. It's not like I've been peeing every 30 minutes. I've, we actually, I had a hot chocolate this morning with a bagel, bacon and cream cheese, toasted. And I had a small hot chocolate. And then I had my apple juice that I still had in that container. And now I'm working on most of this. Where did my bladder go? Holy shit. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm trying to have more confidence in my pregnancy bladder, you know? But yeah. I'm gonna get back to beating this gym and looking forward to going home and possibly taking a nap, but still having to get up and do stuff tonight. I've been so fatigued, it's so bad, but it's okay. I've been getting through it. So, we just got out of Daddy's Noodles, one of the normal restaurants that we go to. Uh, we normally, I normally get the seafood ramen. We were gonna get, um, boba while we were there, but apparently the, the guy ran out of, uh, out of all the tapioca curls. My tongue feels weird because I was switching from cold Sprite to warm soup back to cold Sprite. But, um... I got my freaking got a paper in the mail, and it is about uh, my uh, in December when I went in for my hospital stay and going from the clinic to the hospital because I live closer to the clinic. So when my mother sits there and when I get sick and all that stuff, she and she has to bring me during the day before she has to go back to work. She can't go 45 minutes away. So, like, she tries her best, but, like, it, sometimes it's not really that possible. So, she'd bring me to the clinic, and then they'd keep me for a few hours, and they would send me up to the hospital to get a room, and all that stuff. And for some reason, this one of these past ones, I think it's because of the fact that my father lives with us now, and there's, like, a whole bunch of, like, complicated situation stuff, which he's going to be leaving soon anyways, but just so much paperwork goes into the fact of when you have like both parents not under the roof for so long together and then all of a sudden they're back under the same roof together it's like the government expects them to like split pay for their kids you know for specific situations so um yeah i got that in the mail after my mother tried to call and cover it at one point in time give gave them all my insurance information and for some reason the guy just could not understand my mother's english for some like it just could not understand my mother so i guess half of the information that she even gave him just went right out the freaking window even though she tried and now we're at a place in Flanders and Adrian's getting ice cream I brought um good thing that we got our boba that we got before which was bomb because we were gonna have 
Uh, I was gonna have coconut at Daddy's Noodles, but obviously that didn't end up happening because they didn't have any tapioca pearls. So good thing that we went there and got you know the sweet lunas first and all that stuff today. I didn't take a lactate and I was in the bathroom before I took a nap and it was absolutely horrible. But yes, I was the only one that took a nap today. I was very fatigued. I'm very tired like all the fucking time right now. And I ended up taking a nap from like 4 to 7. I think Adrian laid down me for a little bit though. So. But yeah. And we're going to go home and I'm probably going to have like a few like uh, fruity snack stuff or whatever probably some apple slices and then lay down and go to bed and just you know enjoy the night and he's coming back out here with the ice cream good morning everybody it is sunday march 5th march 5th and i just got done folding a whole bunch of clothes and my mother brought upstairs for because she went down with my dirty laundry and she do my dirty washing put my dirty laundry in the washing machine um, Lacey's been sitting with me right now. Hi, Meatbugs. Cripple's still been spending her time out in the living room. She doesn't really come in here much anymore. I don't know why she was in here for a week again before I got sick, but cool. Um, who we went down to a bar down the road, which has, like, a dining hall. And my sister, my mom, my aunt, and I went. And it was really good. They brought us out scrambled eggs because you had your choice of whether you want like sunny side up eggs, scrambled eggs. We got, um, my mother and my sister and my aunt got some sausage, but I don't like sausage, I like bacon, which I have to be really careful of too because it's just like jerky. Um, and then I got some pieces of toast, which was bomb, and some homestyle fries, which I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Some potato slices, basically, or sliced up potatoes, whatever. And then my father came down for a little bit and literally only stayed for like five minutes but um yeah other than that we had some orange juice and all that stuff and now back to my apple juice it kind of looks like the struggles with the cup but the cup is the yellow one and the straw is green so um slight matchy matchy not too much but i tried i used this little thing when we went down there this morning i brought my bigger bag but one of my body lotions exploded in my colorful bag. So, uh, I'll just show what I put in here just because, you know, just in case it was needed. So I have a lactate and an anti-nausea that goes under the tongue just in case that was needed. My, uh, iPhone and USB-C charger. Tylenol because headaches happen and this is the only thing that I can take right now my regular chapstick that has my hair on it even though I just vacuumed in here but yeah, the regular chapstick my tweezers just in case because you never know I had to zip this morning and it was bothering me and then my uh, botanical lip oil in coconut the uh, one that has a little tiny flower in it as you can see Adrian and I did the podcast yesterday and it was actually pretty decent. Um, we also went through the whole entire bag of candy and goodies and it was, it's pretty good. Everything was pretty good. Um, I think I already mentioned all that stuff. But yeah, I also got nachos yesterday which was a big thing. And good thing that we went and we got boba yesterday at Sweet Luna's because um, Daddy's Noodle Bar didn't have any tapioca pearls left. So we weren't able to eat boba last night at our dinner, but um, yeah, we ended up getting it before that, so you know, good call. And um, it was really good when we got it. Daddy's noodle bar was pretty good, although I think the guy has the hots for Adrian, and it just he doesn't really put too much respect towards me anymore. So honestly, um, I think that I'm gonna stop going there, but that's just me. We also have Mr. Krabs, so, you know, that's a thing too. But Adrian gets out at 5. I have a lot of editing to do with stuff if I want to catch up on everything and also be like less stressed. Um, bought out the Mickey Mouse winter shirt just because, you know. But yeah, that's all that's been going on today. Uh, I have masses that's all over my face because stress and anxiety and all that stuff. And it's just not fun. I got a big zit right there as you can see. Yes, that is, that is a zit. 
and I gotta, um, charge my camera batteries because they're all dying, but, yeah, just thought I'd catch you guys up this morning, it's 11.09 right now, we went down there at around 9, and it was pretty good, we saw some of my mom spend some work, so that was pretty nice, and, uh, one of the girls that works there, that also works at my mom's work, um, came out with the eggs, and she had four plates, and she was trying to do a balancing act, and we all went up to go and get the, like, side portions and everything so it was pretty funny how she came out she's like you stole my thunder i'm gonna walk to the table with my balancing act so that was pretty decent but um the inside of my new bag is already fine because of course i keep so much crap in bags so uh, i need to go through my bag take everything out i have uh kosher dill spears as a snack right now because you know i'm very used to snacking throughout the day and that's what takes away my nausea right now and then i'm probably gonna have the rest of my daddy's noodle soup for that sounds funny daddy's noodle soup for uh lunch depending on how i feel because it's the seafood soup and honestly the crab and the shrimp is really good and that's just spot on when you have a craving or something like that but yeah, I also, when I was at home, I also cleaned up my side of the bed, back in the floor. I need to, um, clean up some other spots in here, which I'm very focused on today, so I'm gonna be getting that stuff done. And just hoping that the rest of the day is gonna be a nice day. I can't wait to spend time with Adrian later on, so we'll see how all that goes. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to being busy. It is Monday, March 6th at 7.15 in the morning. Um, last night was one of those nights where I had one of those dreams that was a nightmare and was re well, a nightmare to me, and was reoccurring every time that I went back to sleep. Lacey, please relax. So, uh, I wanted to get at least vlogging out of the way for now this morning. Sorry if that sounds bad, but my mental health is, like, really overwhelmed right now. I have a zit, as you can see, from freaking five freaking five miles away well it was bleeding i guess and that was dry blood that i just picked off that was great you know found the slab of so the garbage um i'm cleaning out this new bag because as you guys can see it's already fraying because i've already had way too much stuff in it at the same time um my illumination backpack the one that i've been using as a purse basically um got body lotion in it yesterday because one of my body lotions that I have in there decided to explode. So uh, I had to take everything and put it in there. And then I was taking the important small stuff every time I walked into somewhere or went somewhere. I would take the important stuff as I said and put it in here so I at least had that at my hip. Yeah, so it's just, it's it's been four years since my grandfather passed away. And also in the back of my mind this kind of a little bit of a painful subject other than that because uh, my ex that I was with that went, I went through a lot of shit with. Um, the day that my grandfather passed away, I actually started a relationship with him. So, um, and we were together for like a year and a half on and off, but, um, just a very lot of negative things and everything, and that's obviously what led me back to the relationship that I'm with with Adrian again, just because it just, it's a, uh, something I'll explain at a different time. I'm also not trying to make myself look bad either because I'm not a bad person, especially when it comes down to that. Um, I'm trying to upload on YouTube because I edited all day yesterday and I had a very good video, but I had a headache last night, so I ended up not completely posting it last night. But yeah, so uh, a lot of the shit that I've gone through and everything, it just it kind of sits on that subject, but. We're going to forget about that for the day because, honestly, if it's not important to him and his mental health, then it shouldn't be important to mine, even though, you know, still. But that's not the thing that's bothering me, obviously. The thing that's bothering me is the nightmare that I had. Um, but, you know, whatever at this point. We're going to be going to Isabel's tonight, so I'm going to be... Picking out clothes and possibly makeup and earrings and all that stuff because I kind of want to get back into doing that and I feel like motivation like that is going to help me a little bit more. I should probably also do a couple of the day before it gets too late because I have this much left in my cup right now. I don't know 
it's at the bottom of the... Oh, that's literally the straw on the inside because it's a different color than the cup. I've also been snacking on the gummy bunny and the gummy egg since the podcast. Um, I've also been trying to go towards like a healthier thing like pickles and stuff like that, which I mean, it's not really that healthy, but you know. But, yeah, I'm going to try and keep a small amount of stuff in this bag. I don't know if I'm going to pull out a smaller, like, pocketbook or a smaller bag today to be able to use or whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure that Adrian and I were supposed to be doing a whole entire dinner of artichokes tonight. And I can guarantee you right now that's probably not going to happen because I'm pretty sure that Isabel's is making food tonight. I also, if this makes sense to anybody, um, I am... Actually, no, it's easier to go into my Apple Watch and look at it this way. I am 12, 12 weeks, 14 weeks and 5 days, so basically, like, literally on the edge of 15 weeks, and I feel like every single time during the month that I'd be getting my menstrual cycle, I get, like, a slight headache, and I get, like, a little bit more cramps than usual, even though I'm already feeling cramps like the baby growing and all that, such like that. Um, I will start be showing, like, my belly sooner or later, but I'm just gonna point this out. I have extra, like, not like extra skin, but I have chub in places that I don't like it. So, um, I guess looking in the mirror, looking at myself, oh, I got another zit right there that just, ow! That I just immediately popped, and immediately, ooh, might as well just freaking get that one out of there. Oh, now my freaking eye's watering. Anyways, I have some extra fatty places, and everybody says that I have a belly, but I don't see that I have a belly yet. But, um, so yeah, I'm gonna upload the vlog that I worked on yesterday. I've been trying to get everything on time. I mean, it kind of helps how I literally went past and skipped almost a whole entire freaking vlog's worth of stuff for Valentine's Day accidentally. But you want to know something? We have my birthday and we also have next year for that one. I also asked Adrian for my birthday if he wants to possibly, hoping that he has that Wednesday and Thursday off, if he possibly wants to go uh, back to the Butterfly Observatory or if he wants to go to Dr. Seuss's museum in Springfield, Mass. Because I saw uh, recently on Snapchat that that's a thing. One of my friends posted bringing her kids there. I uh, never knew that that was a thing, but I guess it is. I also have a glasses case. Do I keep my glasses in them? Obviously, absolutely not. But I have cleaners for the lenses. And I have this that my mother got me. It's completely tangled right now. I gotta untangle it. My mother got me this from the Dollar Tree and you put it on the edge of your the endings of your glasses and um, it keeps your glasses on your face. Or when you take them off, it keeps them near you so that way you don't gotta like put them down and like Especially with clear ones, struggle to find them, which I don't know if this time when I, I have to make an appointment. I don't know if this time when I go back, if I'm going to get darker frames, probably ones that won't break as easy. But at the same time, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to ask the woman who sits there and, like, watches you put them on and, like, helps you with it. I'm probably going to have to ask her if, like, because obviously my insurance, unless I want to pay, like, $200 out of pocket, which sometimes I have absolutely no problem with. If I need to do that, then I can do that. Um... But I'm going to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, you know, what does insurance... Hey, look, I finally got it undone. What does insurance cover and da 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 and how good are these ones and how good are, that, are those ones? I can just hear it now. And that's what gives me anxiety, too. I hate asking people so many questions. I don't know what I'm going to have for breakfast. I'm leaning towards Chef Boyardee. Wow. Wow. And I've been cleaning my face, too. Wow. Okay. I'm leaning towards Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs um I know within the like hour I'm gonna have to take my anti-nausea so that's great I still have all the tape on me and the little area from where the needle was in me all the tape on me still all the tape on me from right there still too the little area where the needle was in that one um I'm slightly you can't even see that one I'm bruised there from when she took blood and it was so painful and then I also have still some tape there because she ended up having to take it in my hand and she had to like tape everything onto my hand it was just it was hell in high waters so yeah that's what 
we're dealing with today. I'm pretty sure that we're going to end up going to Adrian's friend's house that he, when he lived in Guilford, that he lived down the road from. And just hang out there for a little bit tonight. I don't know. He has this, like, game that's really freaking cool. I'm pretty sure that I explained it the last time that we went over there. But he's got this game where, like, you turn it into, like, an object and then hide. And people who, like, obviously know the app very well and such, or know the game very well and such, or the maps, I should say, not the app, the maps, um, they know, like, what's supposed to be in this corner and what's supposed to be in that corner and this, this, and that, so... So, obviously, there are a lot of people that are actually really good at that game. But, yeah, so that's how everything's going right now. Um, I have an upset stomach right now. Through the bottom, not through the top, thank God. Good morning, Macy. I have an upset stomach from the fact of, uh, my dream and waking up. I was crying, um, I was also cramping a tad bit, too, when I woke up, so... Obviously, you know, maybe the baby was a little tired of distress too, which isn't good, but you know what it is. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yay! What are you doing, baby girl? Daisy Ann! Yeah. 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 I know. This is all the stuff that I had that was in my bag. And all of it's spread all over my bed now. But this is what happens when you have to have so many different bags that contain things. Like, I have this that contains, like, bash tration, like a tiny lysol spray, uh, tiny elastics. There's condoms in here, but that's but because, like, just in case anybody needs them. Um, let's see what else I got in here really quickly, actually. So I got the Lysol to go spray. I got fabric to go for Bree's original gain. Pimple patches, uh, that I need to put the other ones in here because these ones are almost gone. Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Aloe, which I probably need to put in the rest of my bag because I actually need one of those now. Uh, Maximum Strength Acne Treatment that my aunt got for me. Vastration. Um, my carry around, uh, flosser and pick travel pack on the go clean case 12 flossers, 10 sword, what? 12 flossers plus 10 swords. Oh, okay. I never even saw that they got little picks off on the sides. There's two little compartments. One is actually, okay. All right. I understand that now. Um, lactate in here because it's a must. I'm pretty sure that I should probably throw this out because obviously it's 20, 2023 now and this is the expiration date was 2022. But um, as long as it still works, I guess it's fine. It's like one of those thingies that during the summer you like put in your hair and like all the flyaways and frizzies go away. And then I got some extra colorful hair clips in here which I'm probably going to end up putting back in my regular thingy because I don't use them when they're in here if I can find the other ones too because I'm pretty sure there's four yeah there we go so purple blue pink orange so we got those and then we got small little toenail clippers but or fingernail clippers but you know I have my glasses thingy my bob because every time that I put my glasses down either I sit on them or something and the side always wiggles out now and they're bent so I gotta use that to put them back in. Um, and then some band-aids at the bottom of this and that's literally everything that I keep in here. Oh I also keep as I said the elastics. These ones are from like last year so they're like Easter colors but yeah that's literally everything that I keep in here. Um, any, like, essential for, like, any stupid reason, I guess. You got, like, acne, you can't get rid of, there you go. You got an area on you that needs ointment, there you go. You got, you need to have a freaking your shirt smells like shit, there you go. Um, you feel like you got the, you know, C word 19 around you, Lysol, there you go. <laughs> Cause I don't know if you can say that on YouTube or not. But, yeah, that's everything that I keep in there. And then... Um, I actually have two other bags 
of tiny things that I can actually throw the rags if you want to actually really count that. I have this that has all my chargers in it that are for on the go. The ones I don't keep in my actual purse bag thingy. This used to be a makeup kit for me, but um, I cleaned it out and now I have all of my, like, I guess you could say candy munchies in there before they all fall out. And that's jam-packed to the top because the rest of it can't fit in my drawer off on the side anymore. <laughs> And then I also have this one that goes into my regular purse bag thingy, but obviously that pink one's too small for it, like this pink one. This pink one's too small for right now. But, yeah, that's how I keep everything organized in my bag. I gotta go through and put, I gotta put these in with the clear pink bag. And then I have to take this out of the packaging and put this with this somewhere so that way. I also, oh, and then I probably should grab uh, another thing of the floss things too, so that way I have all three of those together, so that way on the go if I need to, you know, I got them. Pretty sure that this one is fully charged. Yeah, full, yeah, fully charged. I keep that one in my bigger bag, and then I'll keep the less charged one, which is at 73 right now, because I only charge my phone like twice with this. I keep this one in my other bag, and I keep this Bose speaker that my aunt got me. That I showed too, I keep that in uh, my bigger bag as well because you never know when you're gonna want to jam on the go. And I already have a speaker in the side of my room, so it just goes, it just fits. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna go and get some breakfast, upload this video, get some shit done, and hope for the best for sleep because I am so tired now that I was not able to sleep in, but I wasn't going to go back to get bed once Adrian left and have the same goddamn dream again and then wake up crying upset and not have him around. So, um, yeah, that's basically how that goes right now.